Okay, this is going to be my review on the Cubesmith Shade Shifting Stickers. Now, right off, I can't say that I like them, because at most of the angles that you look at it, it looks like a cube with no stickers on it. Although, with this lighting I have here, you can tell it is, but sometimes you can't really tell. And it really doesn't look good unless you have the light being reflected off in the right way. And you see, with this lighting right, right here, it does look really nice, but... I really can't say that I like these. The stickers are very hard to tell apart, you know. When I first ordered these, I thought I would get stickers like, one sticker would sometimes look blue, and then another times look green, and then I'd mix them all up. But this, all the stu all the stickers look similar all the time. There's, there's a f like, two of them look similar, and then the others look differently, but those look similar to each other, too. So... I mean, they, I, they really just didn't look like what I expected in the video that Cubesmith linked to. I've always linked, I've also linked to that video right there. Although, if you want to save this buffered video and your spot, then just right click on it in the description over there and open it in a new tab. So, but in that video, they do show their shade shifting stickers on a white square one, or star square one, I'm not sure what it was, and they did look better there. So, if you got shade shifting stickers for a white cube, they might turn out better, but for a black cube, I really can't say that I like them. Okay, here's what the cube looks like in the solved position, and you can tell, as the website says, that the stickers will reflect differently if you do not put them all on correctly, and since you can't make sure to have the centers rotated wrong, yeah, it kind of looks like I had, I did put that sticker on wrong by myself, but anyway, since the centers can rotate, then the center pieces will have a different reflection on it, so just something kind of that you need to keep in mind and it also may be pretty bad on bigger cubes such as the 5x5 or V cube 7 and this is also very hard to solve it is a good challenge but to me it's an annoying challenge it takes me like five minutes to solve when it regularly takes me 30 to 35 seconds to solve so in conclusion I can safely say that you should not get these for a black cube if you want to get them for a white cube, then you can go ahead and try it, but I'm not sure if it'll be worth it for the $5 that they cost. This, because I wouldn't think that a white cube would look much different. The stickers may still look pretty dark, so... Okay, so I believe that's all I have to say. I hope you found this review helpful.